Furry Friends Friday is sponsored by Subaru of Baton Rouge. Good morning, everyone, and happy Furry Friends Friday. We have Amy Herb here from Canine Rouge, and we have these two precious, adorable puppies. They're so scared. They're trembling, but I'm trying to let them know that I'm not going to hurt them. And, of course, you who are interested in adopting them aren't going to hurt them either. They're just going to have a nice, loving, loving home, and I'll just go ahead and let you take it away. Okay. So um, these are two wire hair terrier mix puppies. Mom is 12 pounds, so we don't think they're going to get very big. They're already 12 weeks old. Um, this is molasses and this is honey because mom was maple so we had to stick with that <laughs> sweet theme. Um, sweetest little puppies you'll mm -hmm. ever find. They have already been spayed and microchipped and of course they're vaccinated and they're ready for adoption so they will be listed on our website this week and they'll be looking for their forever homes and there's actually two more of them as well. Um, and what's the um, adoption fee for these puppies? So the adoption fee for our small breed puppies mm -hmm. is $300. Um, Typically, our adoption fees range from 150 mm -hmm. to 300, and of course, the small breed puppies—they're more desirable. They get a lot of applications, so the fee is a little bit higher. And also, for those who may be interested in adopting an older dog, like what what kind of dogs do you have at Canine Rouge, and how many do you have at Canine we Rouge? We currently have 83 dogs in oh, our wow. program. We know all of them very well. We know what every one of them is looking for. <laughs> we have everything from tiny newborn puppies, small mm -hmm. breed puppies, ready for adoption. We have medium-sized teenage puppies who need active <laughs> homes, and we even have some senior dogs. We have a little senior chihuahua right now. She's probably about 8 to 10 years old. All she wants is a warm lap to lay in, Aww. so hopefully somebody watching today will... Now, was she, was she an older owner surrender, or she was just found? We um, believe so her owner passed away, and the Aww. family surrendered her to the shelter. Mm. Oh, so, that's so sad. Yeah, and she's definitely missing somebody, so we need to find her a nice warm lap to lay in. Well, it definitely because of course the newborn puppies and the young ones like these need that home but of course the ones that are older like you just mentioned they're used to having that warmth that comfort right. they're an actual home to be in so of course don't overlook the senior dogs they still have life in them of course and plenty of love to give right mm -hmm. and we, and you know and when you're evaluating if you're ready to adopt or not an, an important thing to think is everybody could be ready mm -hmm. we just need to match you to the right dog if you have an active lifestyle I have a teenage puppy that would love to go hiking with you <laughs> If, you sit, if you're retired and you're sitting on the sofa and you want somebody to cuddle with you, I've got a dog that'll sit and cuddle with you. So the, the important thing is just come talk to us, mm -hmm. fill out an application, and let us find you the right dog. Tell us about your lifestyle and what you're looking for, if you have time to train, mm -hmm. the things that you have time in your life for, mm -hmm. and we, we can find a great dog for you. I think everybody deserves the love and companionship of a dog. So And I've, I've told everyone else that's come here with their dogs, I do like like dogs but I'm already a rabbit owner okay. and I'm already above my pet limit in my apartment ah. but I'm like once I have my own space I'm like I'm definitely getting a dog to go with my rabbits. Well check out our friends at Magic Happens then. Oh yeah, yeah. I've had them on before okay. and yes I love rabbits yes. so much but if I can find a nice sweet little dog to go with my rabbits that would be perfect but speaking of different events and activities you have an event coming up we soon. We do. February 17th Saturday we have Barks and Brunch so after Mardi Gras after Valentine's Day after all those things have slowed down a little bit. Mm -hmm. We've got Barks and Brunch at the Smiling Dog. Yep, that sounds um, fun. We'll, oh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun for the family. They have face painting out there. They, um, Lots of local artists and vendors and so come support local businesses mm -hmm. and of course the Smiling Dog has wonderful brunch specials set up that day and um, our volunteers swear by the cheeseburger. <laughs> um, I like the fish and chips mm -hmm. but anyway so come check it out. We have and even if you're not ready to adopt it's a fun day. Um, Come love on puppies. Come love on dogs. Okay. Um, there's there's lots to do out there. I can check it out. Like I said, I'm not in a position to adopt <laughs> one, but I'll try to come check this event Definitely. out. Definitely. <laughs> come check us out. Well, if you're interested in Barks and Brunch, yes. or interested in adopting Honey, Molasses, or any of the other 83 dogs that's at Canine Root, go ahead and visit their website, fill out an application, get in touch, get your money together so you can adopt these precious puppies. And of course, we'll have all this information posted on our BR Proud website. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you for having <laughs> us.